Hello there. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday. I hope you've had a safe and warm Christmas. Just a very brief update. A couple of movies that I got as Christmas presents and uh, or picked up myself for the holidays. And I'm, uh, I've enjoyed Star Wars The Force Awakens once in theaters and I'm going to go see it again tomorrow. I may actually see it a third time in theaters. We'll see. Just a wonderful, delightful movie. By the way, uh, if you're curious, you can see all the movies I've seen this year. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You can see what, like, how I'd rank this year overall, my favorites, my least favorites, and everything in between. So go check the description for that. Anyway, uh, we're just going to have a look at a couple of movies here. I got both Fast and Furious 5 and Fast and Furious 6. I wanted these for Christmas. I asked my brother to pick them up. They were very cheap they were like i don't know two three bucks a pop so yeah he bought me both both of these thank you so much to my brother kim uh i don't like the fast and furious movies at all i've never enjoyed them but i love five and six um i've seen all seven and five and six are really good i really like these movies it's so weird uh how can a franchise that is generally so weak produce such wonderful movies and they're the fifth and sixth installments respectively it's just crazy uh, these are really good especially five uh, I, I would recommend fast and furious five to anyone who likes action movies it's really that simple the rock is wonderful uh, vin diesel is wonderful paul walker fantastic action sequences and these are more like mission impossible movies than fast and furious movies you know what i mean it's more about a gang performing these daring feats than it is about, you know, uh, babes and cars and stuff like that, so. There's the back of uh, Fast and Furious 6. I actually went to see uh, Fast and Furious 7 in theaters, and if <laughs> if anybody had told me that I would be watching uh, the seventh installment in theaters when the first one came out, I would have I would have thought they were crazy. Like, I, I would have said, you're, you're nuts. That's never going to happen. But uh, here we are. Uh, it's a highly successful, profitable movie franchise. And yeah, people are just enjoying it. And I think these two are wonderful. Well worth seeing. Uh, even if you've never seen a Fast and the Furious movie in your life, uh, if you like action movies, trust me, they are worth watching. I promise you that. So yeah, uh, that's Fast 5 and Fast 6. Very, very fun action movies for sure. I also picked up a steelbook for myself. It's Edward Scissorhands, the 25th anniversary edition from uh, Savvy.com. Uh, I've been wanting this particular steelbook for so long. I love this steelbook. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, I mean, look at it. Look at the artwork there. It's just phenomenal. This is a classic Tim Burton movie. Uh, I love this movie so much. It might be my second favorite Tim Burton movie after Batman Returns. And I feel like the two of the, two of those, uh, this and Batman Returns, uh, are kind of cut from the same cloth. They kind of belong together. There's also The Nightmare Before Christmas, but uh, Tim Burton didn't technically direct that movie. So This is a has a brand new 4K transfer, which is really beautiful. I just watched the movie three times yesterday, so I can confirm that it just looks phenomenal. Uh, but there aren't a lot of special features. Uh, as you can see, you get a one-minute featurette, one audio commentary by Tim Burton, and one one by Danny Elfman. So I think it's pretty much the exact same thing as on the old DVDs, which is really too bad. I think that's uh, it sucks, honestly. I, I wish they'd included something more. I wish there was like a 90-minute long retrospective documentary with Johnny Depp, Tim Burton, uh, Winona Ryder, and Danny Elfman. That would have been amazing, but sadly, it was not to be. Anyway, we'll take this off and have a look at the actual steelbook itself. There we are. There it is. There's Johnny as Edward Scissorhands. I think everyone and their neighbor have probably seen this movie. And they know what it's all about. But uh, if you still haven't seen this movie, you need to watch it. It's just phenomenal. It's a modern day fairy tale, essentially, uh, about a lonely young man who was built with 
scissors instead of hands. And he comes down to suburbia. This uh, super, super colorful uh, sort of um, satire of suburbia. This pastel colored uh, living hell, basically. It's, it's hysterical. But uh, yeah. So a uh, gorgeous edition of a classic movie, uh, and, and it looks phenomenal. The, the transfer is really beautiful. It also has a very strange uh, sound, the, tra the, the track for the sound, like the English, English track, is a 4.0 track. So four channels, no dialogue channel, I guess, and no sub channels, so I don't know. The, I mean, it's, it sounds phenomenal, so it's not a, really a problem, it's just, I just found that kind of weird and unusual. So in the back you've got this uh, Winter Wonderland. Of course, if you've seen the movie, you'll know where how snow plays into the story. And then when you open it up, you've got this pastel hell. All right, uh, that was it for this brief video. Some movies I picked up over the holidays. Uh, I've ordered a lot more cool stuff that's coming in soon, but uh, none of them are movies, unfortunately. I mostly ordered some Star Wars books and a Star Wars Kylo Ren figure as well. So, Okay, hope you've enjoyed this one and I uh, want to take this opportunity to wish everybody a really happy new year. Happy 2016. I uh, hope, you, hope you've had a great Christmas and I will catch you sometime next year, I guess. Take care. See ya.